Hey guys, so I wanted to update you guys about um, my second pregnancy. We are coming to an end in two weeks. Or no, I guess less than two weeks. Yeah, today makes a week and six days until our scheduled C-section. Um, and I've kind of had a rough time because like the last two appointments I went to, I've not been too happy because I've had to see a PA that I really, I just don't like her. I mean, I know that sounds horrible, but she's not very thorough. She is in and out in five minutes and I like to, you know, ask questions and stuff because I mean, it's your kid, you know, um, she came in on my last appointment and said oh have we talked about an induction date and I was like I said we have a scheduled c-section and she was like oh yeah that's right I thought okay just kind of made me feel like you're not reading your charts you know you're not preparing to even talk to your patients you know whatever but um she never tells me what my belly measures she never tells me what the baby's heart rate is. Luckily, though, I did have an NST that morning, and the baby's heart rate was about 137. So, that's usually normal, you know, around this time, because it kind of slows down once they get closer to delivery date, you know, and due date. Um, so, we're just kind of counting down the days, and I'm very large, in case you can't tell. <laughs> I keep telling my husband I'm going to, I don't know, do all this stuff, you know, to try and make myself go into labor, but I'm too chicken to do it, so we'll probably cook until the day of. But my oldest daughter, Amelia, is very excited, um, and we're going to name this one Abigail, so they'll both be A names, it'll be good. Um. But we're, the place that my husband works at is the hospital that I will actually be delivering at. And it is about 45 minutes away. So my husband has to be on call um, one day through the week. And then he rotates with the other um, surgical techs. And they all take a weekend, you know, during the month or whatever. So with that being said, we're trying to look into moving closer because he has a 15 minute time frame that he has to make it to the hospital by while he's on call so he can't make it from our house so whenever he's on call he has to stay over there at the hospital in the on-call room um or otherwise he just wouldn't be able to do it so it's not really ideal you know especially where we're going to be bringing our newborn home in less than two weeks so I don't know um hopefully we will find something soon I kind of want to move um there's a, a city that is about like it's like five minutes from the city he works in and I would really like to live in there because I mean it is a little the houses are a little bit more expensive but it's a really good area. There's a lot of good schools that our girls could go to. Um, like I said, his job would be five minutes away, you know. And if I wanted to start back working, it wouldn't be, you know, that big of a deal because we would still be close to family. They could watch the girls while we were both at work, you know. So it's good. Um, I currently weigh about... Oh my goodness. Okay. Currently weigh 147. Started out pre pregnancy at 113. So I'm hoping to kind of go back, you know. But with Amelia, I lost 20 pounds in the first week. I breastfed and she cluster fed all the time. So she was always feeding, you know. Lost 20 pounds in the first week, so I'm hoping that with this baby, I can be the same way. Um, but if not, I mean, it's fine. I really haven't... I gained 40, 44 pounds, I believe, with Amelia. 
and I had gotten up to 162. So really, I feel like I'm doing a lot better this time. I can, you know, do a lot more. Of course, I've had to do a lot more because when you have a toddler, you know, you have to do a lot more. But it's been good. Um, we had some problems. This show, it's Puppy Dog Pals. It keeps coming back on even when I pause it. Come on. Okay. Anyways, though, we were at risk. We were high risk the whole time. Like, um, from 20 weeks, no, maybe 22 weeks on, I had went to my regular doctor appointment. I was having contractions. Then they sent me to a, a high risk. And over there at the high risk, they did a um, vaginal ultrasound. The lady told me to bear down, you know, like you do when you push. When I did that, my cervix opened up. So, we were really considered high risk then. Um, from then on, I saw the high risk OB weekly, I believe. And twice weekly for a little while. Then they finally, after using progesterone... And being on ibuprofen for a little while, my cervix actually closed back up, which is really good because I was going to have to have a cerclage if it did not do that. So, we ended up being okay. Um, I have had to, and I believe this is normal, but like ever since, I think maybe 34 weeks or 33 weeks, I've had to go weekly for non-stress tests to monitor contractions and baby's heart rate. Um, but those have all been good. I've had contractions, but they've not been consistent enough to keep me. I did have to go to the ER once and my contractions were consistent and they had to keep me. But after fluids and they gave me antibiotics, um, they eased up and I was able to go home. My doctor went ahead though and gave me the steroid shot to uh, develop her lungs because it was still very early. I think it was maybe 35 weeks at the time. So we got two, two doses of the steroid shot and he said, you know, at 36 weeks we can safely deliver. So now we're at 37 plus, so we're fine. We can, we can deliver anytime she wants to come. So I'm very excited. But I just wanted to update you guys and tell you a little bit about everything and keep you in the loop so thanks for watching and subscribe bye